Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial by Zebra Code. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create an XML document. This tutorial has some practical tasks. We carry out some activities. We will learn how to write an XML file, how to format an XML document, and how to validate an XML document. Normally, you can create an SML document with any test editor. You can use a test editor such as Notepad, Notepad++ on Windows, or Test Edit on Mac and on Linux, such as Ubuntu. You can also use some online tools to write and format an SML document. There are as well some professional SML editing tools. There are so many test editors out there that you can use as your SML editing tool. I am going to use Notepad for this tutorial. The reason for that is it helps you to understand how to structure your SML markup correctly. Now I am going to open Notepad. You can use any test editor for this. I am going to create a file for students timetable and I will save it inside this folder all about SML. So I'm going to enter some SML markup tags now. SML version equals 1.0 encoding of UTF half and eight we are going to be using UTF-8 here UTF stands for Unicode transformation format you can read more about Unicode on their website www.unicode.org there are also some other formats that you can use for your SML timetable timetable I am going to enter some subjects now subject name biology teacher Rita Jones. Time. Zero nine zero zero two. Ten thirty. Yeah. Room Science Lab That's for this subject. Now let's add the second subject. Arimatis Teacher
Victoria. Orlando. Time. One fifteen to two thirty PM. Time one fifteen to two thirty PM. Room. Room B dot zero eight. Let's add another subject. Third one. Name. Physical education. Teacher. Let's close that tag. Usman Mohammed. Time. Eleven zero zero to twelve zero zero PM. Now we can save our SML document. I am going to save it as timetable.sml and I will save it inside this folder. Table.sml all files save and if I go in here now and I can see my file timetable.sml now let's preview our timetable.sml with a web browser I am going to use the Microsoft Edge web browser to view it. You can use any web browser. Open with Microsoft Edge. Great. Now it says this page contains the following errors. Error on line 19 at column 11. Opening and editing tag mismatch. Time line 18 and subject. So the Microsoft Edge browser is telling me now that there is an error in my SML document and it tells me where the error occurs in my document but before that it has already printed out the correct part of the SML document so let's fix it it says error on line 19 so now let's go to where it says the error is it is here time time so time was not closed correctly i'm going to close it now save it this time i will refresh my page great so it is showing now correctly this is the structure of my sml document so this is how you write your sml document using notepad and this is how you can preview it with a web browser Okay, now let's use some online SML validator and SML document formatter. If you look at my web browser, I have some tabs here with different SML formatting tools. Let's start with the first one here. This one is Code Beautify SML Viewer. You can type in Code Beautify on Google and it will show you the result and the link to this website on this side we can paste our sml markup language code and on this side we can see the result we can also use the browser option to upload our sml document or we can point to an sml on a web 
URL. So I am going to browse for my file now. Browse. This is our timetable.sml. Click on it. Open. Great. This is our SML file now. And it shows on this side the SML tree view. Timetable subject name teacher time room and so on. Here it is not properly formatted, but we can click here beautify slash format. Great. So our SML document looks more beautiful this time around, looks uh, more readable this time around. You can also download it, export it to CSV and so on. Let's look at another one. This is JSON formatter, SML formatter. You can also type in JSON formatter on Google and it will show you the result. Similar to the previous one, we can also load our SML document here or paste it here. Let's quickly do that. I will select everything, copy it and paste it here. Now this is our SML document and it is formatted here so it looks more readable on this side than on this side you can also format and beautify it then look at the sml tree let's click on this and here now it shows one object which is this document and here it says timetable which is the root node when i click on this one it shows now that it has three subjects and it starts from 0, 0, 1, 2. And it shows here 4, which means this one has name, teacher, time, room. This one has name, teacher, time, room. Why this one has name, teacher, time. So we did not add the room for this one. So to fix that, we could do here now. room sports center and I'm going to click here again format beautify exactly now I have sports center added to it because I have added something to it here now I can download it and it shows here that I can download it do you want to keep it anyway Okay, so this is the name of the SML file. This is how you can format your SML document, improve it, and then download it using the SML formatter too. Another one is the freeformatter.com. You can also type SML free formatter on Google and it will take you to this site. Here we can copy our code and paste it here or we choose to upload it from wherever it is on our computer so i am going to upload it choose timetable.sml open here it's open and look at this part of it it says file encoding utf8 there are so many other options if i click here shows you ISO options and UTF options, ASCI options. There are so many options that your SML data format can be compliant with, but we are using UTF-8 here. So I will leave it as it is, UTF-8, format SML. And this is our SML file. You can copy it, you can save it. Okay, and uh, let's look at the last one here. SML validation. You can also use this online tool to validate your SML document. To do that, you can paste it here or you choose file to upload it. Here again, type something. Room. Room. 
suppose center suppose center now I click validate says here no errors were found which means our SMS document was well formatted and you can download it here or click on it here to look at it yes now everything was formatted correctly so if you want to download it you can download it here so in this tutorial we have looked at how to write an SML document using notepad we have looked at how to use the Microsoft Edge web browser to view our SML document we have also looked at how to use different online tools to format and validate our SML document to use any of these online tools you would need to be connected to the internet but to use the Microsoft Edge web browser you don't necessarily need to be connected to the internet Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Please remember to subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, YouTube will notify you. See you in my next video. Bye for now.